All right, California has made sure buildings are constructed so when an earthquake hits, most people will survive. But what about recovering afterwards? Well, in today's LA Times, seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones said we need to do a lot more. There's a bill working its way through the legislature to address preparing for recovery after the quake by setting standards so damaged buildings can be quickly repaired and reoccupied rather than tearing them down. Here to talk more about this issue is the founder of the Dr. Lucy Jones Center for Science and Society, Dr. Lucy Jones how'd herself. How'd you come up with that name? <laughs> <laughs> I had my arms twisted, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for being with us tonight. Uh, so this really is eye-opening because we're told that everything's retrofitted, uh, and things are, but go ahead. Right. We aren't going to end up like Haiti with thousands and thousands dead or tens of thousands dead from an earthquake because our building code is a life safety code. Make sure you can crawl out alive. But it also says the economic decision of how much stronger it should be than that, than the bare minimum, is up to you. And of course, a developer doesn't want to spend more money than he has to. So most of our buildings are built to the bare minimum. Crawl out alive, you have to tear it down. Well, so what? And um, we can look at what's happened in previous earthquakes, both here and in other countries, and say, this really isn't enough. That when you only don't die, but you don't have a home to return to, or you don't have a job to come back to because the buildings are so badly damaged, you can't really get the recovery going. And in fact, we've seen a significant increase in suicides after big disasters mm -hmm. as people face bankruptcy and the loss of their homes and jobs and and can't cope so if we want a future to california which i think most of us do we need to do better and it's not that expensive you know we already build stronger buildings in los angeles than in orange county because los angeles gets more earthquakes mm -hmm. so we know exactly what it costs to build stronger and you don't hear about la buildings being so much more expensive than orange county it adds about one percent to the cost of construction to move from crawling out alive to being able to repair it. So you're, you're, you're advocating for something, an assembly bill number 1329. What specifically would it do and what's the status right now in the legislature? Okay, so this bill by Mr. Nazarian from Van Nuys uh, says we need to develop these standards. They, they don't, ex we know how to do it, but we don't have the with the formal building code. So it says that the bill as it's currently there says we will uh, form this group to develop the building codes using, you know, with our engineers and our building community and et, et cetera, uh, develop the codes and propose them for implementation. And this, how do you go about achieving this functional recovery? It would include some things like you know, if it's a police station, you want it to recover more quickly, whereas, you know, your home, you can probably manage for a while as long as you can, you know, you don't lose your complete investment. So there's different standards for different types of buildings that needs to be worked out. But the bill is proposing that this be done. And um, I've been working with Mr. Nazarian for, for years since I left the U.S. Geological Survey to try and get this to, to come about. And he's you know, brought along the building industry and got a lot of support for it. So I'm very hopeful it's finally going to make it and, through. And how soon would that happen? Well, tomorrow is the day that they have to vote on um, uh, bringing it out of suspension, I think it's called. It's where the, the Appropriations Committee says, yeah, we're willing to put up the money for this. Because it will, there, there are costs to ask mm -hmm. state government to come in and and you know, bring in the experts and get the codes developed. We have less than a minute. What is the most important step that we can take uh, to uh, ensure our survival and, and building survival? Get this code, this bill passed first, and then if you presumably own a house that's already been built to a previous code, get it inspected. Most buildings are not up to the most recent standards. I, I've never spent more than $1,500 bringing a house I bought up to much stronger standards than it was when I bought it. So, you, mm. you know, if you own a building, it's your responsibility to see it. It's going to make it through.
Well, I think every legislature would be thrilled to have as their lobbyist Lucy Jones. Uh, <laughs> this is a different face. Uh, but this is a special interest that people might be able to get behind. Uh, surviving, uh, that's the special interest. Dr. Jones, always great Thank to you. see you, and uh, we appreciate your perspective. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doctor.